we brought students from 47 different law schools all over the country here. Um, so half the group was out this morning, the other half will be here this afternoon. And um, as we saw just in this, in this one half, it was about only four students who have spent, you know, grew up in a farming family. So uh, I think it's really eye-opening for them to be coming from all over, from, from big cities, from different parts of the country, and, and getting exposed to what this looks like. It's, uh, it's a conversation that I think on the surface, the 99% of the people in this country that do not farm uh, don't have even uh, an iota of, of understanding of, of the day-to-day integration of all these regulations uh, and how it relates directly to agriculture and having a positive income from my family, uh, you know, bottom line and, the, and that whole sustainability conversation. Uh, obviously a broad range of ideas, perceptions, uh, understandings, misunderstandings and I think I just wanted them to have a positive understanding that I'm a family, that it's, it's a family oriented, it, uh, it's a modern business, it's, uh, the technology's there, the need for technology. At the end of the day, we're giving the world choices for the food that they, they, uh, they consume. I live and work in New England, so I haven't been in Iowa before, I haven't been on an Iowa farm before, so I think for me it was really just educational about you know, what the technology looks like, what the struggles are. I was really impressed with the rotation of corn and soy and then mixing in the manure from the pigs and just how it's all a system, even though it's at a big scale, it's a really integrated system. Um, so for me, it's really helpful to understand what this looks like and, and kind of what the struggles are of farmers and food producers um, and, you know, just get a clear picture of what their needs are and, you know, as you think about bringing this, this experience and the New England experience and what does it look like at the national level, it was really educational. What drives it all is the economy of it and uh, when thinking about policy and those things, the interests of the farmer, it, it's something that needs to be at the forefront of it all in order for the whole thing to be able to sustain itself. One thing I like about this, coming here to the farm, is that it, it, we talk about these things and we talk about them like ideas, but here we're, we're seeing it, we're seeing the product, we're seeing the people that do this, and I just think the whole experience is something that I'd be able to use in the future to inform me. I'm really interested in food law and policy, which is why I'm here, and I think that it's a good opportunity to go out and meet with farmers and see what kind of laws and policies and who you're actually affecting. So. A lot of people that I find in food law and policy have never been to a farm and have never really been involved with the farmers and so this is a great opportunity to really see how the things that we're studying in school and the policies that we want to implement are actually affecting day-to-day -day lives of people.